Hello dear students, so today we have 2015 CSAT question paper and uh, here if I talk about the questions of maths and reasoning, so they are around 50 questions from these two topics itself like maths, reasoning and DI in fact I should also include. So we have approx 50 questions based on these three areas and obviously if I talk about the level of the questions then these questions are like mixed of easy, moderate and tough right these questions are mixed of easy moderate and tough also so some questions are really tough and some questions are really very easy to solve you can solve just by reading the questions and obviously some of them are moderate also so you have to devote around uh, one minute to solve those questions so i'll be like uh, i'll be telling you the complexity level as well with the questions fine and the topic from where the question came right so let's start with the question paper First question says, 12 people from a club, by picking lots, one of them will host a dinner for all, once in a month. The number of dinners a particular member has to host in one year is. Okay, everyone, it is totally a lottery based system, like by picking lots, right, it is a lottery based system, fine. So obviously you can't get, actually there is no any formula like this person will host these many dinners in a year. So there is no certain formula, right? So this is totally luck by chance kind of thing. So obviously this can't be predicted at all, right? It may happen that one person will host zero dinners and one person will host all the 12 dinners. It may happen actually, right? Because it is totally a lottery system, right? So this number cannot be predicted, right? So fine, let's move to other question. Next question says, an automobile owner reduced his monthly petrol consumption when the prices went up, okay, the price consumption relationship is as follows, all right, price per liter, okay, 40, 50, 60 and 75 and monthly consumption in liters, okay, see everyone, here the price is 40 rupees and here the price is 50 rupees, right, so increment is what, increment is one fourth, I mean increment is of 10 rupees, fine, so 10 rupee is what in terms of 40 rupees, this is one fourth, right, so here, this is the increment of one fourth and here again this is 10 rupees increment but with respect to 50 what is 10 rupee 10 rupees is one fifth right and here here the increment is what increment is increment is again uh, 15 rupees right here increment is 15 rupees right because 60 to 75 it increased by 15 rupees so 15 rupees is what percentage in terms of 60 so 15 rupees is one fourth in terms of 60 right everyone fine so the in increment first was one fourth then it was one fifth then again it was one fourth right and now let's talk about the petrol consumption so this is reduced by 12 liters right so 12 liters means one fifth with respect to 12 right with respect to 60 i'm sorry 12 liters is one fifth with respect to 60 right here the petrol consumption is reduced by 8 liters so 8 liter is one sixth with respect to 48 right and here it is reduced by what here it is reduced by 8 8 is what 8 is one fifth with respect to 40 right so everyone you just you know observe the pattern here it is one fourth and here it is one fifth here it is one fifth and here it is one sixth here it is one fourth and here it is one fifth right clear so obviously this is one more than this i mean 1 by 4 so 1 by 5 1 by 5 1 by 6 1 by 4 1 by 5 right so now they are asking if the price goes up by 40 rupees sorry by 80 rupees per liter if the price goes up by 80 rupees per liter so 80 rupees 80 so obviously this is the increment of 5 rupees with respect to 75 right so the increment of 1 by 15 right everyone so here the increment of 1 by 15 because 5 is 1 by 15 with respect to 75 right so here the increment of 1 by 15 so obviously the reduction will be what the reduction will be 1 by 16 right so 1 by 16 of 32 will be the reduction so this is what this is actually 2 rupees right the reduction of 2 rupees will be there so now this will come down to 30 uh, 30 liters the consumption will come down to 30 liter right the answer is 30 
all right everyone this is the answer right so here you should i mean you should be comfortable with the calculations just to you know just to observe the given pattern like how this is moving and what exactly the changes are right okay fine now let's move to other question next question says consider the figures given below right so everyone first figure will take triangle right so triangle is here then it comes here then it comes here and then here it means what triangle is moving clockwise right it is like this it is like this and it is like this right so triangle is moving clockwise and one more thing here the triangle is upward but here the triangle is downward here again the triangle is upward and here again the triangle is downward now the triangle will be upward here right the triangle will be upward here fine so obviously like figure c and figure d i mean option c and option d are not correct fine and then let's talk about the dot here the dot is here then dot in the second figure dot is here in the third figure dot is here and in the fourth figure the dot is here right so dot is what dot is moving anti clockwise right everyone the dot is moving anti clockwise fine so this time the dot will come to here downward right so dot will be here anti clockwise right so obviously like in a option you will get the situation right dot is here and triangle is here upward fine so a option will be the correct option now you can just leave this question here only right all right now let's talk about the next question next question says consider the following matrix okay 36 856 1090 22 question mark 20 1 0 okay fine see everyone 3 is what 3 and 6 are related as 3 into 2 is equal to 6 it means 3 into 3 minus 1 is equal to 6 right so this is 3 into 2 right 8 into 8 minus 1 this is 8 into 7 which is 56 this is 10 into 10 minus 1 which is 9 so 10 into 9 is 90 2 into 1 is 2 right so this number will be odd this number has to be the multiple of two consecutive numbers right so two consecutive numbers are 5 and 4 so the bigger number will be the answer right the bigger number is what 5 so 5 is the answer right okay this is a simple question right so all right now let's move to other one next question says what is the missing number x of the series all right so everyone Seven, missing term. Then twenty-one, then thirty-one, and then forty-three. Right. So here the series is moving slow. So obviously it must be an addition kind of a thing. So operation must be addition, right? So just take the difference of two consecutive terms. So here the difference is ten, and here the difference is twelve. Right. So it must be what? It must be eight here, and. Then six here, so seven plus six will be thirteen, right? And thirteen eight is twenty one. Yes, right. So difference is increasing by two 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 all the time, right? Okay. So this is the actually the pattern, right? So here thirteen is the missing term. All right, everyone. Fine. So now let's move to other question. All right. Next question says four cardboard pieces of specific shapes are shown in the following figure. all right which one of the following figures given can be found by joining these pieces together all right see everyone here you just join these two pieces this and this right so the shape of this will be there right and then one will be like this and other will be like this so this can be the i mean this will be the answer right so here in d option you will get this shape right in d option you will get this shape fine so d option will be the correct choice all right now let's move to other one next question says in a test a candidate attempted only 8 questions and secured 50 marks in each of the questions if he obtained a total of 40% in the test and all questions in the test carried equal marks how many questions were there in the test all right see question says he attempted eight questions in the question paper and secured 50% marks in each of the questions right so just assume assume each question carries 
each question carries 10 marks right fine so he is getting 50 percent marks per question right so obviously he is getting five marks in every question right so he has solved eight questions and secured 50 percent marks in each of them so eight into five his total score must be there i mean eight into five must be his total so this is 40 marks will be his total right everyone 40 marks will be his total and the question is saying he obtained 40 percent of the total right so 40 percent of the total is equal to 40 then 100% of the total will be what? 100% of the total will be 100, right? So it means total maximum marks of the paper will be 100, right? So obviously, every question is of 10 marks each. So 100 by 10. So it means there are 10 questions in the question paper, right? With, with 10 marks each. So there are 10 questions in the question paper with 10 marks each fine so question is how many questions were there in the test so there were 10 questions in the question paper all right everyone fine so now let's move to other question next question is a father is nine times as old as his son and the mother is eight times as old as his son fine so just assume the age of son is x father is 9x and mother is 8x right okay the sum of father's and mother's age is 51 years right so sum of father and mother's age so 9x plus 8x is equal to 51 years so 17x is equal to 51 then x will be what 3 right so what the question is asking what is the age of the son so age of the son is x so x is equal to what x is equal to three years right so age of the son is three years right everyone the answer is three years right now let's move to other question okay next question says four persons a b c d e sorry a b c d consisting of two married couples are in a group okay both the women are shorter than their respective husbands all right a is tallest a is tallest it means a is husband right a is tallest means a is husband it means a is male right so a is the tallest member so a is male right fine a is the tallest among the four c is the taller than b okay c is taller than b okay c is taller than all right c is taller than b d is b's brother d is b's brother see everyone d is b's brother so obviously if d is b's brother it means what it means d is male member right d is male member so d is b's brother right so d is brother it means d is male member right and d is, and b are brother I mean D is brother of B so it means D can't I mean D can't be the husband of B right so obviously D must be the husband of C right if D is the husband of C then obviously D will be taller than C right so C will be female and B must be female now because there are two fe female and two males and two pairs obviously so C and D are husband wife and A and B are husband wife right so this is a couple dc is couple and ab is also a couple right so now what is the question all four have family oh sorry wait which one of the following statement is not correct question is saying not correct all right all four have family ties family ties means they are related to each other right i mean they have some relation so obviously they have the family relation right because obviously like they are brother and sister in 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 those four members one is brother sister and all of them are like husband wife fine so obviously like there must be a family connection among them okay b is shortest among the four yeah it is correct b is shortest among the four right c is taller than d c is not taller than d a is b's husband 
A is B's husband. Yeah, it is also correct. So C is taller than D. This is not correct, right? Because D is the husband. Fine. So C is not taller than D. C is shorter than D. So this one is not correct because the question is asking which one is not correct. So the correct answer is C option. We have to choose. Fine. Everybody okay? Fine. So now let's move to the question. Next question says, consider the following statements. A man had a wife, two sons, two daughters in his family. Okay. The daughters were invited to a feast. Okay. And male members of the family went out to take part in a picnic. Okay, fine. The man's father did not return from his work. Okay, fine. Which of the following statement is true? Okay. Only the man's wife was left at home. See everyone, question says only the man's wife. So only is, I mean, only, all, always, must. These are some heavy words. Please try to avoid those words, right? Okay. Next statement, it is likely that the man's wife was left at home. Yeah. This you can choose. And the third is none was left at home. No. It is not there because uh, about man's wife, there is no information. So, uh, obviously, it is very likely that man's wife was there at home. Fine. And more than one person was left at home. It is also not given in the question. So, B option will be the correct choice. It is likely that man's wife was left at home. Obviously, this will be the most appropriate option. Right? Okay, fine. Now, let's move to other one. Okay, next question is the dialogue between uh, two people. Gita says, Naresh has become a better boxer since he started meditation. Alright. Radha says, impossible. Impossible. It means Radha has some strong beliefs. Right. Impossible. A boxer's most important asset is his aggressiveness. Right. Okay, fine. Radha's statement reflects her belief that, alright, meditation tends to make a person less aggressive. Yeah, it is correct. Yes, because Radha says impossible. Impossible is again a very heavy word in itself, right? So, he has a certain belief that, you know, uh, meditation uh, makes a person less aggressive, right? Alright, it is correct. Fine. Now, let's move to other one. The next question says, all good athletes want to win and all athletes who want to win eat a well-balanced diet. Therefore, all athletes who do not eat a well-balanced diet are bad athletes. Okay, fine. The best conclusion from this statement is that no bad athlete wants to win. We can't say this. No athlete who does not eat a well-balanced diet is a good athlete. No, it is not also correct. Every athlete who eats a well-balanced diet is a good athlete. Yes, this is correct. I repeat, every athlete's athlete who eats a well-balanced diet is a good athlete. Yeah, it is correct. Okay. So, fine. Now, let's move to other question. The next question says, if A runs less fast than B, A runs less fast than B. Okay, fine. So, B runs faster than A. The question says this. And B runs as fast but not faster than C. Okay, fine. So, B is less than or equal to C. I repeat, B runs as fast but not faster than C. Right. So, B is less than or equal to C. Then, as compared to A, C runs. Okay. Fine. Then, as compared to A, C runs. Right. See, everyone, here, A is greater than, sorry, A is less than B, right? It is like this. Okay. See, the question is, A runs less fast than B. It means what? A is less than B. Fine. And B runs as fast but not faster than but not faster than C. So, it means B is less than or equal to C. Right. So, this is the relation. So, then as compared to A, C runs. 
obviously c runs faster than a fine all right now let's move to other question next question is each of a b c d has rupees 100 a pays 20 to b okay fine so each of a b c d has rupees 100 100 100 a pays rupees 20 to b it means now a has 80 and b has 120 right i have read only first statement till now right so this is the initial condition and this is step one right who pays 10 to c who means b pays 10 to c right b pays 10 to c okay fine so now this is 80 and this is 110 and this is again 110 and this is 100 right step two fine c who gets rupees 30 from d c who gets rupees 30 from d okay fine so now third step 80 110 140 and then 70 right so this is the final one right okay so this is the final one right okay fine now let's talk about the question c is the richest what is the question which is not correct okay c is the richest yes it is correct so here it is not the right answer because c is the richest and they are asking not correct okay fine d is poorest yes it is also correct d is poorest so this is not also correct answer c has more than what a and d have together c has more than what a and d have together no this is not correct because a and d have together is what 80 plus 70 which is 150 and c has 140 so 140 is not more than 150 so this statement is not correct so obviously this will be the right answer right all right now let's move to other one next question in a town 45 percent population read magazine a 55 percent read magazine b 40 percent read magazine c 30 percent read a and b 15% B and C, 25% A and C, and 10% read all the three magazines. See everyone, this is the question based on Venn diagram of three attributes, right? So this is A, B, and C, right? So here, 10% here, 10% read all the three magazines, right? Okay, now. 30% read A and B. Okay, wait. 30% read A and B. So, obviously, 10% is already there. So, this is A and B, right? This area represents A and B. Fine. So, here, this is 10% is already there, already there. So, it must be now. It is left with 20%. Right. 15% B and C. So, here, this area belongs to B and C. Right. B and C. So, 10% is already there. So, we are left with 5% now, right? 25% read A and C. 25% A and C. See everyone, this is A and C, right? So, 10% is already there. So, we are now left with 15%, right? Okay. And the question says 45% read A. Fine. So, here this is 20 and 30, 20 and 10, 30, 30 and 15 is 45. So, here... 45 is complete for A, right? Now for B, it is 55%. All right, so this is 30 and 5, 35. So this is now 20% is left. And for C, it is 40%. So 15 and 520, 20 and 10 is 30. So now this is 10%. Okay. So question is, what percentage do not read any magazine? All right, so just add them and now subtract by 100, right? So 20, 20 is 40. 40, 10, 50, 50, 10, 60, 60 and 15, 520, 60 and 20, 80%, right? So, 80% of the population reads some magazine, right? Or at least like at least one magazine, fine. So, they are asking who do not read any of the magazine, fine. So, 20%, I mean 100% minus 80%, the answer is 20%. Right, everyone. So, 20% of the population does not read any of the three magazines. Fine. Now, let's move to other question. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एग्जामिन दॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट लेडीज फिंगर इज टेस्टियर देन कैबेज ओके लेडीज फिंगर इज टेस्टियर देन कैबेज All right. So this is let's say lady's finger, and this is let's say cabbage. Right. Okay. Cauliflower is tastier than lady's finger. All right. So cauliflower. Cauliflower is tastier than lady's finger. Okay. Cabbage is not tastier than peas. Cabbage is not tastier than peas. See everyone. Cabbage is less tastier than peas, but where the peas is, we don't know actually. So peas must be somewhere. Peas can be here also, right? Or peas can be here also, or peas can be here also, right? We don't know where the peas is. Fine. All right. So now the conclusion is the conclusion that can be drawn from these statements is that peas are as tasty as lady's finger. No, we don't know. Peas are as tasty as cauliflower. No, we don't know. Cauliflower, sorry. Cabbage is least tasty of the four vegetables. Cabbage is least tasty of the four vegetables. Okay, and the next one is cauliflower is tastier than cabbage. Yes, everyone, cauliflower is tastier than cabbage. This one is the correct conclusion that can be drawn. Cauliflower is tastier than cabbage. All right, now let's move to other question. Next question is, Shahid and Rohit start from the same point in opposite directions. After each one kilometer, Shahid always turns left and Rohit always turns right. Which of the following statements is correct? All right. Okay, so let's say this is the starting point. Fine. So here Shahid and here Rohit. Right. Shahid. Let's say Shahid goes here and Rohit goes here. They are in opposite direction. And let's say this is the starting point O. Fine. So question is, I mean, question is saying after every one kilometer. Let's say this is one kilometer and this is one kilometer. So after every one kilometer, Shahid turns left. Okay. So Shahid turns left. Shahid, let's say, turns here, and Rohit turns right. Okay. So after like this is one one kilometer, right? Now. One more kilometer, so this is one kilometer. Like Rohit goes here and Shahid goes here, right? All right. So now obviously they will be meeting, right? This is the meeting point, right, everyone? This is the meeting point. Fine. So which of the following statements is correct? After both have traveled two kilometer, the distance between them is four kilometer. No, we can't say. Right. This is not correct. In fact. They meet after each has traveled three kilometer. Yes, obviously. Like here, suppose that if I talk about this is the starting point, so one kilometer, one kilometer, and one kilometer, right? And here also one kilometer, one kilometer, and one kilometer. So they meet after each has traveled three kilometers, right? So everyone, this is the correct answer, right? Now let's move to other question. Next question says, in a 500 meters race, B starts 45 meter ahead of A. Okay, but A wins the race while B is still 35 meters behind. It means what? The difference between A and B is 45 plus 35, which is 80 meters. Right. I repeat the question. In a 500 meters race, B starts 45 meters ahead of A, but A wins the race while B is still 35 meters behind, right? It means A has taken taken a margin of 80 meters, right? Fine. Okay. So obviously the total size of the race is 500 meters, right? So when A is running 500 meters. B is running to 80 meters less. It means B is running 420 kilometers. I repeat, 420 meters, right? When A is running 500 meters, B is running 420 meters, right? So what they are asking? What is the ratio of the speeds of A and B? So they are asking the ratio, right? So this is obviously one uh, zero can be cancelled out. So this is 50 is to 42. So both the numbers are divisible by two. So this is 25 is to 
21 right okay this is 25 to 21 a option is the correct choice right now let's move to other question okay next question says two equal glasses of same type are respectively one third and one fourth of uh, i mean full of milk see everyone here one third and one fourth right so we will take the lcm of 3 and 4 lcm of 3 and 4 which is 12 liter right so why i have taken the lcm because they are saying two equal glasses two equal glasses right so the capacity of each glass just assume as 12 liter capacity of capacity of each glass let's say 12 liters right so this is glass number one and this is glass number two right so each of the same capacity of 12 liters right and now the question is saying uh, this is let's say glass number glass a and this is glass b so they are one third and one fourth full of the milk right one third one third means this is four liters of milk right and one fourth is what one fourth is three liters of milk right everyone fine and after that so this is milk and then they are filled with water up to brim right then they are filled with water so here eight liters of water will be there and here nine liters of water will be there right and now they are poured to another uh, pot right so obviously water will be added to water which is 8 plus 9 and milk will be added to milk which is 4 plus 3 right so this is what 8 plus 9 is 17 liters of water will be there in the new mixture and 7 liters of milk will be there in the new mixture right so now what they are asking they are asking the milk and water the ratio of milk and water milk is 7 and water is 17 so ratio of milk and water is 7 is to 17 right everyone so the ratio of milk and water is 7 is to 17 fine now let's move to other question all right next question says out of 130 students appearing in an examination 62 failed in english 52 failed in mathematics whereas 24 failed in both the subjects all right so let's say there are two subjects maths and english so 24 failed in both so it is like intersection reason 62 failed in english so obviously 38 is here and 52 failed in maths so this is 28 right all right so find the number of students who passed finally how many students are there they are 130 students right so obviously 38 plus 24 is 62 62 plus 28 is 90 students right so 90 students just add all of them so 90 students are failed right so past candidates are how many 130 minus 90 so this is 40 students are passed finally right everyone 40 students are passed finally right so this is the answer okay now let's move to other one next question says in a group of persons traveling in a bus six persons can speak tamil 15 can speak hindi and six can speak gujarati okay in that group none can speak any other language all right if two persons in the group can speak two languages only one person can speak all the three language so there are three attributes are there right three languages tamil hindi and gujarati so tamil hindi and gujarati question is saying one person can speak all the three so one person can speak all the three languages okay two persons in the group can speak two languages only two persons in the group can speak two languages only so like see this area belongs to two languages only area right so here we have two entries let's say one is here 
just this is just for example right let's say one here one here so we have two persons who can speak two languages only right so here there is no person right none okay all right after that question is saying in a in a group of if of persons traveling in number six can speak tamil six can speak tamil so let's talk about the tamil oval so here three is already there so now three is left because six total will be here in this oval fine 15 can speak hindi 15 can speak hindi see everyone this is the area of hindi so two are already here so now we are left with 13 so because they are saying 15 can speak hindi and six can speak Gujarati. Six can speak Gujarati. So two are already here. So now we are left with four entries, right? Okay, fine. So question is how many persons are there in the group? Just add all of them. So 13 plus three, it is 16, 16, four, 20, 23 is 23, right? So total we have 23 persons in the group. All right, everyone, fine. Now let's move to other question. Okay. Next question says, in a parking area, the total number of wheels of all the cars, four wheelers and two wheelers is 100 more than the twice of the number of parked vehicle. The number of cars parked is, okay, let's say the cars, the number of car is C and the number of two wheeler is is let's say the number of bike is B, right? Okay. So question is saying, how many like uh, in a parking area the total number of wheels? Okay, fine. So in car, how many wheels do we have? We have four wheels. And in bike, how many wheels do we have? We have two wheels. So total number of wheels, I mean 4C plus 2B, this is the total number of wheels. Now the question is saying, is equal to 100 more than twice the number of parked vehicle so how many vehicles are parked so this is c plus b these many vehicles are parked so this is 100 more than twice the number of the parked vehicles so two of this plus 100 right so 4c plus 2b is equal to 2c plus b plus 100 this is the mathematical representation of the given data right so 4c plus 2b is equal to 2b plus 2c plus 100 all right so 2b 2b can be cancelled so this is like come here so this will become 2c is equal to 100 then c is equal to 50 right c means what c means cars so 100 sorry cars will be 50 i mean 50 cars are parked here question is the number of car parked so obviously 50 cars are parked here right all right so like this question is based on the uh, I mean linear equation so for solving these type of questions you you should be able to make equations based on the given data right this is the word problem kind of question all right now let's move to other question next question says a selection is to be made for one post of principal and two posts of vice principal amongst the six candidates called for the interview only two are eligible for the post of principal while they all are eligible for the post of vice principal the number of possible combination of selectees is okay see everyone let's say there are six people a b c d e f came for the interview right out of those six two are eligible for principal and all are eligible for vice principal right two are eligible for principal and all are eligible for vice principal fine so if we have selected a as principal right then out of these five we have to choose two candidates for vice principal right so out of five if we are choosing two so this can be done in 5c2 ways right so 5c2 is what 5 into 4 divided by 2 which is 10 right and if you want to write these 10 cases then let me make it very clear in front of you just start with b b c b d b e b f right so b c b d b e b f c d c e c f d e d f and e f right so just count them these are 10 cases 
fine everyone so a is the principal and with a we have two vice principal all right so just count them these are 10 cases 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 and 10 right so we have 10 cases here right and now since we have already decided that there are two persons who are eligible for the post of principal so obviously b can be also principal right and a can be vice principal fine so just swipe a and b here we will get one more arrangement like this b a c right where b becomes principal and a c r vice principal right here this a is principal and these two are vice principal right similarly uh, this now when we are interchanging the position of a and b we are getting one more case right so obviously we will have 10 more cases here just by interchanging the positions of a and b right so we will have 10 more cases so total number of cases will be 10 plus 10 which is 20 right the correct answer will be 20 but unfortunately 20 is not in the options so correct option will be d choice d option d option will be the correct choice right everyone d option will be the correct choice fine so now let's move to the other question okay next question is a student has to opt for two subjects out of five subjects for a course namely commerce economics statistics mathematics 1 and mathematics 2 mathematics 2 can be offered only if maths 1 is opted okay fine so the number of the different combination of two subjects can be opted is see everyone this question again belongs to permutation and combination but i'll show you this question with manual counting only right so c for commerce e for economics s for statistics m1 for maths 1 m2 for maths 2 right so we have five subjects and we have to choose how many of them we have to choose two of them right two subjects you you need to choose so just make the combination c e c s c m1 c m2 right now with e we will start now e s e m1 E M two, right now with S I am starting, S M one, S M two, and then M one and M two, right. So everyone total how many like four three two one. Here we have four, here we have three, here we have two, here we have one. But this is not the answer. Why? This is not the answer because the question is saying M two can be offered only if M one is opted. so m2 will be given with m1 only right m2 will be given with m1 only so here m2 this can't be the answer i mean this can't be opted this can't be opted and this is also can't be opted right so these three courses can't be opted fine so out of seven three courses can't be opted because m2 cannot be given with statistics m2 cannot be given with economics or m2 cannot be given with commerce m2 can be only given with m1 right so out of 10 three courses can't be offered so 10 minus 3 the answer is 7 7 possible combinations are there right everyone the answer is 7 fine now let's move to other question next question says a person ordered five pairs of black socks and some pairs of brown socks The price of a black pair was thrice that of a brown pair. While preparing the bill, the bill clerk interchanged the number of black and brown pairs by mistake, which increased the bill by hundred percent. I mean, just double. So, what was the number of pairs of brown socks in the original order? Okay, a person orders. Five pairs of black socks and some pairs of brown socks. Okay, so five pairs. So this is let's say black, and this is brown. So five pairs of black and some pairs. Let's say n pairs of brown. He ordered. The price of a black was thrice. Okay, 
so if let's say the price of brown was x then the price of black was 3x right so these are the number of pairs and this is the price let's say i'm writing the price here only so 3x and x fine okay so original bill must be what original bill must be so pairs into price so 5 into 3 so this is 15x and nx so original bill must be original bill is equal to 15x plus nx it must be the original bill right but by mistake he interchanged the number of pairs right so uh, mistaken bill i should write mistaken bill right so he ordered i mean black and brown right so black he ordered 5 but he just written that 5 in the side of brown and he just written uh, n in the side of black right so the price of black was 3x and price of brown was x right so mistaken bill will be n into 3x plus 5x right because we need to multiply these numbers and we just have to add them right so this is the mistaken bill right and the question says the new bill is double the original bill right so according to condition of the question right according to question so new bill is equal to i mean this one this one is the double of this one right so n in fact i should write 3nx plus 5x is equal to double of this so this is 15x plus nx right so this is what this is 3nx plus 5x is equal to 30x plus 2nx right so nx is equal to 25x so x is equal to 25 sorry n is equal to 25 right n is equal to 25 so what is n we have assumed we have assumed n is the number of brown pairs and what is the question is asking so the number of brown socks original ordered right so the answer is 25 so 25 brown socks were ordered i mean 25 pairs of brown socks were ordered originally right everyone fine see this is a simple question but yes this question is based on the linear equation problem fine i mean the linear equation topic word problems okay now let's move to other one now let's talk about the next question the number of persons who read magazine x only is thrice the number of the persons who read magazine y okay the number of persons who read magazine y only is thrice the number of the persons who read magazine x okay see everyone these two statements can't be drawn together in the venn diagram right these two statements can't be drawn together in the form of a venn diagram right okay so the question is then which of the following conclusion can be drawn the number of persons who read both the magazine is twice the number of the person who read only magazine x no the total number of the persons who read either one magazine or both magazine is twice the number of the persons who read both the magazines no actually no any conclusion can be drawn right because here the condition is not possible to draw in the venn diagram right okay so now let's move to other question next question says the graph below depicts the earnings of a and b over the period of 2000 and uh, sorry 2000 to 2010 okay from the graph which one of the following can be concluded all right so on the average a earned more than b during this period all right on the average obviously friends here the earning of a is like this right 
the earning of A is like this and the earning of B is like this. So till 2007, from 2000 to 2007, the earning of A is very much more than the earning of B. Why? Because here, here the gap between A and B is more, right? So from 2000 to 2007, which is a larger period, the earning of A is much more than the earning of B, right? So obviously you can say on the average, A earned more than B during this period, fine. And one more thing I, I can say, because here the earning of A is less, but here the difference is also very less. The earning of B is more than the earning of A from 2007 to 10, but the thing is the difference is not very significant. But here the difference is very much significant, fine. So overall you can say uh, the earning of A was more than the earning of B during this average, so, I mean during this period, right. Now let's talk about the next question. Next question says two pipes A and B can independently fill a tank completely in 20 and 30 minutes respectively. Okay. A can fill the tank in 20 minutes and B can fill the tank in 30 minutes. All right. If both the pipes are opened simultaneously, how much time will they take to fill the tank completely? See everyone, this questions are actually based on LCM approach, right? Just take the LCM of 20 and 30. So what is the LCM of 20 and 30? This is 60, right? So 60 units is considered to be the total capacity of the tank, right? If A is filling 60 units in 20 minutes, if A is filling 60 units in 20 minutes, it means per minute A is filling 3 units and similarly B is filling 2 units per minute, right? So when A and B are working together, so they are filling 3 plus 2 which is 5 units per minute, fine. So they need to fill how much? They have to fill 60 units, fine. So 60 divided by 5. So when they are working together, it is taking 12 minutes, fine, to fill the tank, right everyone? So 12 minutes are required to fill the tank completely when A and B are working simultaneously, fine. All right, now let's move to other question. Next question says, each of the six different faces of a cube has been coated with a different color. That is V, I, B, G, Y, O. Following information is given, all right, First statement says, colors Y, O, B are on adjacent faces. Everyone, in the case of cube, adjacent faces can't be opposite to each other, right? Adjacent faces can't be opposite to each other. All right, this is a simple thing. Can't be opposite to each other, right? So adjacent faces can't be opposite to each other. So here, from statement number one, we can say, here from statement number one, we can say O and B are not opposite to each other because O and B are adjacent to each other. So O and B are not opposite to each other, right? And from statement number two, we can say I and G are not opposite to each other, right? So obviously total there are six colors and five we have written here. So only one is left, which is V. So V and Y are opposite to each other, right? Now let's talk about the second color or second and any other face, fine. So here we will consider B, right everyone. So if I consider B, so from first statement I can see Y and O, Y and O are not opposite to B. From first statement I can say Y and O are not opposite to B, fine. Now the third statement, third statement G and Y. So G and Y, so G is not opposite to B and from fourth statement O, V, B, right? So obviously V is not opposite to B. So only one is left, right, which is I. So I is opposite to B, right? So now, now we have written two pairs, fine. So third pair will be opposite to each other, fine. So which is the third pair? The third pair is G, right? and G and uh, O, right? So this third pair will be opposite to each other, right? So this is the composition of the cube, fine? So question is saying, 
which face is opposite to O, which is the color of the face opposite to the face colored with O, right? This is the question. So, O's opposite face is G, right everyone? The answer is G, fine. Now, let's move to other question. Next question says, consider the following statements followed by two conclusions. Statements, first statement says, some men are great. Okay, so let's say this is men and this is great. Right? Okay. Second statement says, some men are wise. Okay. So, some men are wise. It can be formed like this. Some men are wise. This is case number one. Case number two can be formed like this. Men, great and vice. This is men, this is great and this is vice. Right. So, these are the two cases of these two statements. Right. So, first conclusion says men are either great or vice. Okay. Suppose that a man belongs to here, a man belongs to here. Right. So, so I mean in case number one, we can say this first conclusion is true. No, it is not true. Why? Because uh, of, if a man belongs to this, this reason, th he is neither great nor wise, right? Similarly, for case number two, if a man belongs to this reason, he is neither great nor wise, right? Now, for conclusion number two, some men are neither great nor wise, okay? Some men are neither great nor wise. Yeah, it is correct. This case, I mean, this conclusion is correct. Why? Because the question is saying some men are neither great nor wise, right? So, from state, I mean, from condition number one also we can say this and from case number two also we can say this, right? If a man belongs to this reason, he is neither great nor wise, right? So, in case two also, we can find some men who are neither great nor wise, right? So, conclusion number two is the correct answer. Okay, everyone, from both the conclusions, I mean, from both the cases, we can find conclusion number 2 is the correct answer. So, I think only conclusion 2 is valid. Right. Okay. Now, let's talk about the next question. Next question is A, B, C, D, E, E, D is equal to A, B, C, A, B, C. Where A, B, C, D, E are different digits. Okay. A, B, C, D, E are different digits. So, what are the value of D and E? See everyone. Here, D double E D is equal to 1001, right? And A, B, C can be anything. So, A, B, C, let's say, A, B, C, let's say uh, 234, fine. So, now if you multiply any three digit number with 1001, you will get this pattern, right? So, let's say if you have multiplied A, B, C with 1001, so definitely you will get A, B, C, A, B, C. Right. Why? Because here A B C into 1000 plus A B C can be written. I mean A B C A B C will be equal to what? A B C A B C will be equal to this. Fine. Or it is A B C into 1001 can also be written like this. Fine. So A B C A B C is equal to it can be written A B C triple zero plus A B C. Right. Why? Because a B C triple zero plus A B C. Fine. So this number can be also written as like this. So this is what A B C can be taken common. So this is 1000 and this is one. So this is A B C 1001. You will be getting fine. Right. So this is D double E D is 1001. Fine. So what is the question? So, what are the values of D and E? So, D is 1 and E is 0. D is 1 and E is 0. C option will be the correct choice. Right? Now, let's move to next one. Next question says, year-wise variation of the price of a certain commodity is shown in the following graph. Okay. The price of the commodity in the year 1990. In the year 1990. Okay, so 1990 is this one, right? So, obviously, it is more than 10. 
and less than 20 right so price of the commodity is somewhere between 10 and 20 in 1990 right so c option must have been anywhere between rupees 10 and 20 right okay c option will be the correct choice right everyone fine now let's move to the next one next question says the population sorry the proportion of expenditure on various items by two families a and b are presented in the following bar charts all right family a total expenditure rupees 20000 per month okay family b the total expenditure rupees uh, rupees 1 lakhs per month right okay fine so from the from these charts we can conclude that family a spent more money on food than family b okay family a spends more money on food so this is 20000 so 50% of 20000 is what 10000 right and here this is what 1 lakh so 10% is what 10% of 1 lakh is 10000 fine so on the food both the families are like uh, spending equal money right so this is not correct family b spend more money or no this is not correct family a and b spend the same amount on the food yeah it is correct c option is the correct choice fine all right now let's move to other question next question is usha runs faster than kamla okay usha runs faster than kamla so this is usha and this is kamla all right preeti runs slower than swati swati runs slower than kamla okay so this is swati swati runs slower than kamla fine and preeti runs slower than swati okay so this is preeti all right who is the slowest runner so obviously preeti is the slowest runner fine the question is who is the slowest runner so preeti is the slowest runner right okay now let's move to the next one next question says between 6 pm and 7 pm the minute hand of a clock will be ahead of our hand by three minutes at okay see everyone this question is mainly based on the observation right this question is mainly based on the observation right so you can say i mean you must have uh, you just imagine the clock right so if you like imagine the clock you can say approx at 633 right 633 approx at 633 both the hands are are together right you can say both the hands are together i mean minute hand and hour hand both hands are together right i mean minute hand and hour hand so minute and hour right both hands are together at 6:33 right so obviously after 3 minutes which is at 6:36 so after 3 minutes they will be 3 minutes apart to each other right so the answer is 636 fine this question is based on observation don't use maths right if you will use maths you will take a lot of time while solving this question fine so please don't use maths just use the observation next question says there are five tasks and five persons okay so this is person one person two person three person four and person five all right task one cannot be assigned to either person one or person two okay so task one can't be assigned to either person one or person two all right task two must be assigned to either person three or four okay so task two must be assigned to either person one or person four sorry person three or person four okay every person is to be assigned one task how many ways these task these can be uh, i mean how many ways can the assignment be done okay fine see everyone so obviously to p1 and p2 task 1 and task 2 cannot be assigned because task 2 can uh, task 2 should be assigned assigned to either t uh, i mean person 3 or person 4 and 
P1, P2 can't be assigned task 1. It is given in the question. Fine. So for, for P1, we are left with three choices, right? T3, T4, T5. Task 3, Task 4, Task 5, right? And similarly, for P2, we are left with two choices, right? Why? Because there are three choices for P1 and P2. So one is assigned to P3. So obviously for P2, we are left with two choices, right? And for, for uh, P3, let's say we have assigned T2 to P3 in case number one, right? This is, let's say, case number one, right? And then to here, we are left with two tasks. So only one will be assigned to P4 and then one less, uh, one left will be assigned to P5, P5, fine. So this is one case, case one, right? And then case two. Case two will be like P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5, fine. So here this time, this is one and rest the things are same to the previous case. Fine. That's it. Fine. So now just multiply them. So this is what 3, 2 is a 6, 6, 2 is a 12. And they are connected with or. 3, 2 is a 6 and 2 is a 12. Fine. So this is 12 plus 12, which is 24. Right, everyone? So this is 24. Fine. So this question is actually based on permutation and combination. For solving these type of questions, you should have to have the background of mathematics. Fine. So if you don't have the mathematics background, you may leave this question in the examination. Fine. Don't waste unnecessary time on these type of questions if you don't know how to solve these questions. All right. Now let's move to other question. Next question is the monthly income of Peter and Paul are in the ratio 4 is to 3. So Peter and Paul income are in the ratio 4 is to 3. All right. The expenses are in the ratio 3 is to 2. All right. Fine. If each saves rupees 6,000, see everyone, here the difference is 1 and here also the difference is 1. Fine. And income minus expenditure is the saving, right? Here, income minus expenditure is the saving always. Fine. So this 1 is equal to, I mean, the difference is 1, which is given as 6,000. Difference, why I'm saying the difference? Because the difference between income and expenditure is the saving. Fine. So here also it is 1, 1 is given as 6,000. Fine. So 3 is equal to what? 3 is equal to 18,000. And 4 is equal to what? 4 is equal to 24,000. Right. If one unit is equal to 6,000, then 4 unit is equal to 24,000. Fine. So income of Peter is 24,000 and income of Paul is 18,000. Fine. So what are the, what is the question? Their monthly incomes. So 24 and 18. So option number A is the correct choice. Fine. Okay. Now let's move to other question. Next question is two cities A and B are 360 kilometer apart. Okay. So two cities A and B, they are 360 kilometer apart. All right. A car goes from A to B with the speed of 40 kilometers per hour. A to B with the speed of 40 kilometers per hour and comes back to A with the speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. And comes back with the speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Okay, fine. Comes back with the speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Okay. What is the average? See everyone, in this case, the average is 2 AB upon A plus B. You must have, uh, you must be knowing this formula. Average speed is 2AB upon A plus B, right? Here, A is given as 40 and B is given as 60, fine. So this is 2 into 40 into 60 divided by 60 plus 40, right? So this is 24 kilo, sorry. So this is 4800 divided by 100. So this is 48 kilometer per hour. 
right the average speed will be 48 km per hour during the entire journey right okay now let's move to the other one next question is a b c d e f are cousins no two cousin are of same age but all have birthdays on the same day of the same month okay the youngest is 17 and the oldest e is 22 years see everyone e is the oldest okay so this is e e is the oldest 22 years hmm? all right so 21 20 19 18 and 17 21 20 19 18 and 17 right so this is the situation fine so question is e is 22 years old f is somewhere between b and d okay f is somewhere between b and d okay a is older than b okay f is somewhere between b and d see everyone and a is older than b it means let's say we assigned this place to a right and they are saying f is somewhere between b and d right so it means f is not the youngest right f is not the youngest and again c is older than d and a is one year older than c okay so a is one year see everyone last statement a is one year older than c so it means let's say here it is c fine right a is older than b okay so obviously this time b and d can be here or d and b can be here also and here it is f right clear because about b and d we are not sure right so here we can have b also and here we can have d also because uh, f is somewhere between b and d so f i mean uh, b can be the the youngest of the three b f d and b can be the oldest of the three b f d right and similarly d can be the youngest of the three b f d and d can be the oldest of the three b f d fine all right now which one of the following is possible they are asking possible okay so d is 20 years of old no it is not possible d can't be 20 years of old f is 18 years of old yes it is possible f is 19 years of old no f is 20 years of old no right so which of the following is possible f is 18 years of old this is the possibility fine and here we can have two arrangements right two arrangements of the age here we can have two arrangements of the age fine okay the next question is all right the next question is based on the similar data what is the number of logically possible orders of six cousin in terms of the increasing age so obviously there are two orders are possible right two arrangements are possible fine that we have already done in the last question right okay everyone fine so let's move to the next one okay next question is in a society it is customary for friends of the same sex to hug and for the friends to opposite sex to shake hand when they meet okay a group of friends met in the party there were 24 handshakes see everyone 24 handshakes 24 handshakes just Take the factors of 24, 6 into 4, right? So handshake means just take the factors of 24, this is 6 into 4 or it can be 12 into 1, sorry 12 into 2 or it can be 24 into 1, right? It can be like this. So I'm just taking the first case for the, I mean, because here the number of male and female would be. 6 is to 4. I mean, uh, I'm just considering this case first. If it is not the answer, then I'll take the next case. Fine. So here, male and female. 
right so male can be 6 or and female can be 4 right or male can be 4 and female can be 6 fine so they are shaking hand with each other and total 24 handshakes are there right so what is the question among the following the number of the following number indicates the possible number of hugs see everyone number of hug will be what number of hug will be nc2 if n persons are there then the number of hug, hug will be nc2 or you can say n into n minus 1 divided by 2 fine so if four males and six females are there then possible hugs then the possible hugs can be 4c2 plus 6c2 right so 4c2 is 6 6c2 is 15 so this is what 21 right so 4 into 4 minus 1 this which is 4 into 3 by 2 plus 6 into 5 by 2 right so this is 6 plus 15 which is 21 so 21 is the possible answer right option c is the correct choice 21 is the possible answer right so uh, this is the question and friends again i'm saying this question is based on permutation and combination right a topic of mathematics so for solving this question again like uh, you should have to have the background of mathematics if you don't have the background please don't try to attempt this question else you will take a lot of time of your and you uh, maybe you won't get the right answer fine because uh, csat is now qualifying so don't waste your time in unnecessary i mean in in uh, in tough questions fine so now just move to the next one next question is two men anil and david and two women shabnam and rekha are in sales group only two speaks tamil okay anil david shabnam and rekha Only two speaks Tamil. Two speak Tamil. The other two speak Marathi. Only one man, one woman can drive a car. Okay. Shabnam speaks Marathi. Shabnam speaks Marathi. Okay. Question is saying, two are speaking Tamil and two are speaking Marathi. Both Rekha and David can drive. Okay. Rekha and David. So Rekha and David can drive. Okay. So Rekha and David can drive. So obviously Anil cannot drive. So Anil cannot drive and Shabnam cannot drive. Right. Because the question is saying only one man and one woman can drive right so if it is already given that david and rekha can drive so obviously shabnam and uh, anil cannot drive fine okay right and now let's talk about the data of the question again question is saying only two speaks tamil and two speak marathi okay so now Let's talk about the question, which of the following statement is true? Both the Tamil speakers can drive. Both the Tamil speakers can drive. No, it is not possible. Why? Because only two speaks Tamil and two speak Marathi. Right. So here, only one will be speaking Marathi and one will be speaking Tamil. Why? Because one Marathi is already there. Right. So now out of these three, only one will be speaking in Marathi right so obviously one Marathi will be driver and one Tamilian will be driver this is for sure right so both the Tamil speaker can drive the car no both Marathi speaker can drive the car no so one Tamilian at least one Tamilian can drive the car this is the correct answer both of those who can drive the car speak Marathi no one of those who can drive the car speaks Tamil. Yes. D option is the correct choice. One of those who can drive the car speaks Tamil. This is the correct answer. Right? Alright, now let's move to the next question. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से इज इन अ प्लेन लाइन एक्स इज परपेंडिकुलर टू लाइन वाई ओके लाइन एक्स इज परपेंडिकुलर टू लाइन वाई लेट से दिस इज लाइन वाई एंड दिस इज लाइन एक्स एंड पैरल टू लाइन जेड लाइन एक्स इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वाई एंड पैरल टू जेड ओके सो लेट से दिस इज लाइन जेड राइट सो दिस इज लाइन जेड लाइन यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू बोथ वी एंड डब्ल्यू ओके लाइन एक्स इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वी ओके लाइन एक्स इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वी सो दिस इज वी राइट नाउ लाइन यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वी एंड डब्ल्यू क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वी एंड डब्ल्यू सो यू इज परपेंडिकुलर टू वी एंड डब्ल्यू इट मीन्स v and w will be like this and u is perpendicular to v and w so this is u right x is perpendicular to v i it is correct now next the question is which one of the following statement is correct okay z u w z u w z u w are parallel no it is not correct x v y are parallel x v y are parallel no it is not correct Z U W Z V U Z V U are parallel. Oh, sorry, are perpendicular to W? No. Y V and W are parallel. Yes. Y V and W are parallel. This is the correct statement. Fine. This is the correct statement. All right. Now let's move to the other question. Next question says a cow cost more than four goats but less than five goats. Okay, if a goat cost between six hundred and eight hundred, then which of the following is the most valid conclusion? All right, four goats and five goats. Right. So cow cost more than four goats but less than five goats. Fine. so this is the cost of the cow okay so the range of the cow is given as i mean the cost of the four goats uh if the goat cost between 600 and 800 okay fine so if we take the cost of the goat as 600 so 600 means 2400 for the four right and if we take the cost of the cow sorry cost of the goat i mean just take the minimum cost here minimum cost and just take the maximum cost here right so maximum cost of 5 goats is what it can be 800 into 5 so 800 into 5 is 4000 fine so cost of the cow will certainly lie between 2400 to 4000 right this is the case where you you have i mean you can be very much sure right so what we do in this case just take the lesser value here right and just take the maximum value here i mean the minimum value here and the maximum value here so minimum value of the cow is given as 600 sorry goat minimum value of the goat is given as 600 and the maximum value of the goat is given as 800 right so just take 600 into 4 here right and just take 800 into 5 here right so this is the condition All right, everyone. Fine. So this is the condition. All right. Now let's move to the other question. Okay. Next question says a society consists only two types of people: fighters and cowards. Okay. Two cowards are always friends. Okay. This is fighters and this is cowards. Two cowards are always friends. A fighter and a cowards are always enemy. Okay. Fighters are indifferent to one another. If A and B are enemy, okay. So A and B are enemy. It means A and B are enemy. It means A and B are in different groups, right? C and D are friends. So C and D are friends. See everyone. Two cowards are always friends. It is given in the question, right? Right. Two cowards are always friends. It is given in the question. so they are saying c and d are friends it means c and d are cowards right okay e f are indifferent so two two 
fighters are indifferent to each other right so ef must be fighters right ae are not enemies ae are not enemies it means ae are fighters right so everyone here ae are in the same group so now this is confirmed that a is in f and b is in c right so a is fighter and b is covered it is clear now and while b and f are enemies so obviously b and f are enemies it is correct now which one of the following is the correct choice b c f are covered b c f are covered no a e f are fighters yeah it is correct a e f are fighters it is correct now a e f are fighters right so now let's move to the other question next question in a box of marbles there are three less white marbles than red ones okay red white and green three colors are given green right okay if there are total 10 white marbles so 10 white okay now now let's read the question again in a box of marbles there are three less white marbles than the red ones okay fine three less white marbles than the red one okay and five more marbles than the green one all right so white are five more than the green one so this is green is five and this is three more right so this is 13 10 plus 3 is 13 fine so what is the question how many marbles are there in the box just add all of them 13 10 23 23 plus 5 28 so total we have 28 marbles in the box right so again here you just have to read the question carefully and just add all the numbers right okay fine now let's move to the other question next question is candidates in a competitive examination consisted 60 percent male sorry 60 percent men and 40 percent women okay so everyone here 100 percent candidates are here right so this is 60 percent men and 40 percent women right all right 70 percent men and 75 percent women cleared the qualifying test 70 percent men so 70 percent of this number right so 70 percent of this so 70 percent of 60 is equal to 42 percent right 70 percent of 60 percent is equal to 42 percent fine and 75 percent of 40 percent this is equal to 30 percent right so it means 42 percent men cleared the exam and 30 percent women cleared the exam right okay fine okay cleared but they cleared the qualifying test okay fine so this is the qualifying test only right and entered the final test where 80 percent men and 70 percent women are successful so 70 percent women are successful for the final so final uh, selection uh, 80 percent men 80 percent of 42 percent right so 80 percent of 42 percent will be what so 80 percent of 42 percent will be uh, 32 and 33.6 approx right right okay and 70 percent of 30 percent so this is 21 percent right this is 21 percent fine so which of the following statement is correct all right so now here they are the finally selected candidate so this is final selection is 54.6 percent approx this is the final selection right now success rate is higher for women no it is not correct success rate of men is higher overall success rate is below 50 percent no it is not correct more men cleared the exam than women yeah it is correct more men cleared the exam than women it is correct right because 33 and 33.6 percent men cleared the exam and 21 percent women cleared the exam right and obviously initially more men are sitting for the exam 
because it is 60% men and 40% women are sitting for the exam. So obviously the number of men is always greater than the number of women in this question, right? Initially, I mean initially the number of men were more than the number of women. So I think now the video is over. So hope you enjoyed the session friends. So thanks for watching. Thank you everyone. Thank you.